Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about a process through which we can update the physical file using CL program. Okay, so before we discuss program, let me show you the file and data first, and then we will discuss about the logic through which we are updating the data. So to see the data, I'm uh, showing you my second session where I'm hitting the query select star from. My file name is EMPPF, and I'm hitting a query. So yeah here uh, we have only one record uh, where employee id is 50 and employee name is abcd so what we will do we will uh, convert or we will update this name where the employee id is 50 with some other name let's say sharmit so we will convert uh, the employee name for employee id 50 as sharmit so let's see the logic now so i have already created one program let's go through that so here on line number 8 we are starting the pgm command and then below to that we are declaring two variable first one is employee id of decimal type of length 4 and we have initialized the value as 50 because we want to update the record where employee id is 50 and after that we are declaring another variable which is emp name of character type length 30 and here we have initialized the name as Sharmit. So what we will do, we will use these two variables for uh, creating a dynamic update query using run SQL. Now to update the file, we have to firstly declare the file. So to declare the file, we have to use this command dclf. So just simply write dclf, then take, take f4. And here you have to specify the file name as emppf, emppf and library name as Sharmit1. So once you specify these two things, then it will be declared, your file will get declared. And below to that, we are using run SQL command. In run SQL command, we will write the query. So it is almost same as the insert query. The only difference is the syntax or the structure. So let me show you the structure. So here inside the, like, firstly, you can simply write a run SQL, then take F4. And maybe you can write your query here or you can directly write but make sure that uh, you can you have to specify this uh, commit as a start okay now in run sql we are writing the query as update then file name emppf set emppf name means emp name so here we are setting emp name as this so i have break down this query in this way like three single quote then double pipe and m percent so whatever the value are stored in this m emp name it will be upset to the file field name which is also emp name so i keep the both names same so that it will be easy for you to understand like this is the uh, file this is the program variable and this is the file field so we are just updating we are setting the these value and after that we have we have to close this by double pipe again and triple single quote then where now we will specify the where condition emp id equals to a triple single quote double pipe then as this emp id is numeric variable so we have to convert it to percentage care so i'm converting it then double pipe and then triple single quote and to terminate the query like here we have started the query with quote so we are again using quote to close this query and setting the commit star equals to none okay and below to that on line number 25 what we are doing we are using sndpgm msg command to print the message for user that record is updated so that whenever we call this program it will update the record or it will populate that record is updated so i hope now it is clear because uh, we are passing the variable in the same manner we uh, do for the insert like uh, triple single quote then double pipe then variable name if variable is numeric then we have to use percentage care with it otherwise we can directly pass the variable name like here emp name okay then double pipe again and then triple quote again so this is not four quote this is a triple quote yeah means triple single quote so this is a block uh, that you can consider it as a variable that we are passing okay so this this query will work and it will update the record where it will set the emp name as uh, sharmit where emp id is 50 
So let's try to compile it and call this. So I'm compiling it. So it is compiled now. Now I'm calling it. So yeah, we got the message record updated. So to see the result, let's go back to the file. And now I'm reading this query. Yes, now it is updated. So for employee ID 50, the employee name is Sharmit. So this is how we can utilize this run SQL command for updating the query. And here we are uh, creating the dynamic query. If you want to hard code the values, then uh, it is also fine. For that, you have to just simply pass the string inside the double single quote, like in this way, double single quote, then your value like value whatever you want to update then again double single quote okay so for hard code value you have to pass in this way only but i would recommend you to go with the dynamic query so that whenever there is a need to change the query you can simply change the values inside the variable okay but uh, in that case we will not update or modify this query again and again so i hope this is clear to all of you and in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching Tech Charmit.